Hello, hello everybody, you thought we're done with Season Smoke and nope, we're back at it again. My name is John Hort 9 and I'm presenting you lovely people to Global Seasons Mode. Yes, we're back at it again. If, you, if you're new to my channel don't know what Global Seasons Mode, it's similar to 92 Seasons Mode, but a bit, well, global as you may notice in the title. So how things are going to work out here is we're going to have six groups and one group per an episode and each group is like a nation for example we've got the french the german italian spanish the rest of europe which is like clubs from other european nations that don't get a shout out and americanos which is the north and the south america mixed into one now within each group of five clubs uh, are not the best out of their nations, but the clubs that I would want to do a career mode with. So you won't expect, I don't know, Spanish to have Real Madrid because I don't want to do a Real Madrid career mode. They'll be more like a Road to Glory side, so it'll be much more better. So with those Road to Glory sides, we'll have one group per an episode. For like for example, today it is the French episode since Paris FC from last Global Seasons mode won it. Yeah, so the French had the honour to go first. We'll be playing the team on Seasons mode, which if I enjoy playing them, will get a high rating as it'll be out of 10. Similar, as you may notice, to 92 Seasons mode. Similar as well with the Rage Quit rule. At the end of the game, we get the rating, we get the man in the match. And after playing with all six groups in each episode, well, at the end, the team with the best score will be the next career mode club on EA's next best game, to be honest with you. It seems a bit of a mouthful, but if you want any more explanation, go in the comments, ask a question, I'll be more than happy to answer it. So as I said before, in today's episode, it is the French episode. So we've got five teams, and those teams are Lorient, Strasbourg, Saint-Étienne, Bastille, and finally, Le Havre. Which, with those five teams, we're going to be playing two live games, followed up by, well, the three games, which will be like a highlight simulation. So, let's end the rule explaining right there. Let's get into our first team of Global Caesars Mode, the French edition. First team, and it's, oh, Lorient. Now, reason why I chose this team, um, I think they're just, uh, you know, not known, to be honest with you. They've got some decent plays. I think their striker has been targeted by a lot of people, unless I'm thinking of the wrong club here. And to be fair, my brother did a career mode with it, and he think he enjoyed it. I don't know. I've been mean to ask him. I'm not sure if he enjoyed it, but he does know the club. So I thought, why not, to be honest with you. Leafy plays it across into Julian. Julian, great run from him. Great, fantastic run. The player couldn't switch the control. He was trying to switch players, but it was too little, too late. Julian drilled the chance and we've opened the score for us for the CODs, I believe so, with their fish logo on there as well. I think they're called the CODs. Corner for Galatasaray, 2 0 up. I should be comfortable. That's not comfortable. That is. Oh, no, oh, no, no, ah. Oh. That goal was basically like watching an episode of Only Fools and Horses. My defence were clumbering her down. It is just not looking good. Dribble, straight interception. Now through board. Lovely from Bamba. Enter for Farrarin. Farrarin, sorry. Come on, lay it across for the hat-trick. Yep, Julian gets his hat-trick. Simple counter-attack, my dear Watson. As literally, it was played across to Julian. Well, who's absolutely been destroying this Turkish team's defence. My God almighty. All right, now, Silva on the ball. Now, let's see what we can do something. Plays it across to Bamba. Bamba now, shot and off the post and in. I'm scared scoring these amount of goals because sooner or later, I feel like he is going to rage quit. Through board, Bamba on the ball, gets tackled with ease. Good interception though. So through board again. Lovely through Bamba. Come on, spots the player, spots the winger. 
open chance, open space, by himself, but decides to be a prick and then lays it across to Julian. If he's not going to quit then, he's definitely going to quit now. Because it is literally turned to a slaughter. Again, producing great passing right here. Sit and to Julian. Julian over the top through balls. And we're going for the lucky sick, which, ah, oh, that was very unlikely. Keeper got hold of the ball. And we're going to lay across to my Diara. Into Julian. Julian into Kone. And Kone, I decided to bring him on because Bamba wasn't doing spectacular. But you know what? Your first touch, your first run, and your goal, the number nine Kone, makes it 6-1. It has gotten a lot worse for Galatasaray. I'll tell you that right now. I just didn't expect it to be fit. Oh, we've won the ball. Oh, silver now. Lovely chance. Through balls into Kone. Kone's done what? Kone's, oh my god. Is that someone called Messi for you? And that keeper had no choice but to literally slide tackle him in. We've got ourselves a penalty for folks. I, that was something. Now, can we able to score it? No. Keep the Uruguayan keeper saved it. Now into, well, Julian again. Lovely run from him. And slight tackle or not, it's not going to go well for it. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's definitely not looking good. Oh, gosh. Right, hello. Is that the funeral service? Yeah, I've got this team. I've absolutely beaten the crap out of them. I think they might need a coffin soon. A through ball for them as Gomez now. Uh, all gets intercepted. The Diara into Julian. Julian, lovely over the top through ball. The finish was absolutely exquisite, sir. Oh, my God. Just like a French diner. Uh, just absolutely exquisite. What a volley and what a ball from Julian. Okay. Now, we're going to get him again in the counter. As my winger took too many touches there. And now they've stolen it. As one matter. Over the top through balls. And they've got one in. You know what? I'm going to give them credit for scoring. Because I've been in this situation before where I'm losing so badly. And afterwards, I managed to get a goal. It's a good feeling. So, you know what? Credit to you, mate. Now, as they're trying to play it nice and easy behind the back. I've stolen it. Julian, yet again, the culprit. But it plays it across to Kone. Uh, I've took too much time on that. And I missed the shot completely. It doesn't matter, to be honest with you. As it's literally gotten to full time. Winning this first game 8-2. Wow, deserved man the match ball for that man, Julian. Um, let me go to the rating for this side. So, what did we think about that? That was absolutely phenomenal. I just didn't expect that from the attack. It was just brilliant. We'll get on to the real man the match. The negatives, I must say, the goalkeeper, oh, he only had two shots against him. And it was clumsy, like you said, the first one. The defence... Didn't help him no better either. Um, right, rating wise, I'm only going to give him an 8.5 because of that. It would have got a lot higher. Honestly, it would have. Just the defence need to sort their shit out. Man, the match, it was tough, but it had to go to Julian. The guy was an utter machine. Just like Luis Suarez against Norwich City, this guy was everywhere and they didn't want him to be on the pitch whatsoever, Galatasaray. It was just game set and over as soon as he had that ball in his feet. And then, well, we've gone on to Strasbourg in the match highlights. And I swear down to you, this team is made out of butter. I swear, the amount of times they slip past the defenders and it ends up in a goal. It, it's just it's exquisite. The finishing, on the other hand, is very, very questionable. As to be fair, if, if we had so many one-on-one -on -one chances, but we can't finish it. How are you meant to work it out? But in the end, as soon as we got one past him, it was like bowling. As the rest were just clumbering down as we were just piling goals on my opponent non-stop. I gave him a 9 out of 10, and man the match, I gave it to Danilio. Then we move on to St. Etienne. Boy, this team has surely crumbled. Yeah, the St. Etienne defence was pretty strong to begin with. I thought, great, they were holding their nerve. And I thought this was going well. And their striker as well was supremely strong as well. Like he's been going to the gym five times a day. That kind of strong. As he was able to help us get some leads. I thought just 
maybe we could have gotten there. And by the way, I do apologise because we did get some static in this game, which was a bit annoying. And well, it didn't get a lot better for my defence at the end because as soon as they were all strong in that, they felt exhausted as we let in two scary goals, which almost scared me, but we got the win. I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10, a man in the match. Well, it's an old career mode favourite, it's slow. And then afterwards we got Bastille. And I'm going to apologise again, the static, I think my internet was currently down while filming this. And I didn't want to play another game personally, so if you do see these, I do apologise. But to be fair, we got off to a very bad start, as my keeper didn't want to make decent saves as it is. And we were down before you can even count it. But what made this team stand out was the dribbling. As soon as they were on the ball, it was just like a magnet to their feet. It was just, well, surprisingly well to be honest with you. Just needed to defend a bit better and afterwards we got it in there. And well, some surprise shots from surprise angles, we did able to get a 2-2 draw from that. I gave him a 4 out of 10 and man the match, I gave it to Sal's Lounge. Now we're on to Lee Harv. Now... Reason why I chose this team, again, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, it was just, for me, this team was really good at turning African players into French, well, starters, to be honest with you. Like I said about Paul Pogba, Mandanda as another one, it was just so many players that from African descent went into France and they just made them, well, phenomenal, as you may notice. So, we're going to be playing this game as a live game and, well, hopefully do the best for them. Right, into L, L through balls it into Marcus, or oh, Jamal, sorry, Jamal through balls it into Richarlison, Richarlison, great run, finish it, oh, that was a, that was a really good counter attack, but just the finishing touch was needed. Now DC United, Rain Rooney side going for an attack, and my full back felt a little bit scared, going too early, sweat it across, and Teke could have finished a good clearance from Lloris, as Jamal plays it across to Kasimin, Casamar, sorry, over top through ball. Come on, Steely stealt it fantastically. He played the reverse Uno card of stealing. And yes, hello, Jamal makes it 1 0. My defense, oh, their defense thought, you know what, we've got hold of this. Stole it and scored. 1 0. Position, good interception. No, fullback, no, my fullback lost it. Oh, for crying out. I was too soon. Good save. Whew. I was a bit nervous right there. As L got the ball into Larice, into Richarlison. Plays it across. Come on, into Jamal. Oh, damn, that's the one player I want. Oh, hello, through ball. Jamal, how do you like it? So, like a waiter. Literally pitch perfect for you. 2 0. I could only say that was going nasty, but we had to turn that around. Charlison plays it across. Nice short passing. Through board into Jamal. Jamal's, Jamal's doing fantastic. It's on to Mbappe in disguise. Oh, that would have been that would have been the icing on the cake. That would have. Good tackle. Yes. Dikake through balls it into Jamal. Jamal. Well, it's very similar story as the last. He's one on one. He will shoot. He will score. Three 0 Get in. Oh no. Through board again. Good interception, but L lost it immediately. Oh, uh, one short passing, Clint, through balls it. No, come on, come on. No, shot, it's gone in. Oh, uh, I think I know what the problem is. I think my fullbacks are a huge problem in this, to be honest with you. As DC United look like they want to get into this. And through balls. No, oh no, they've got, they're targeting my wings because they know my fullbacks are shocking. Dribbled round, short, come on, get in there. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me, it's 3-2. Oh, for crying out. That's all they have to do. Just target for my wing and it's game over already. Come on. I'll hold the ball on the wing. Now, if I can juice a good cross right here, I can spot Jamal. Now, slight tackle. And he's gone literally flying down the floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've really done it now. Now, I might have to give it to Jamal because I kind of trust him on that ball, to be honest with you. As he steps up. Looking good. Looking great. Oh, <laughs> oh. It wasn't looking that good, but we managed to get off the crossbar and end. And that, I believe, is a well-deserved insurance goal. Clinch now, through balls at intercepted with ease. As we've got, well, 90 minute, through ball, Diakate, finish it for me. No, he gets tackled, which I don't really care because he's only got 10 seconds to only blow a full-time whistle for impressive 
4-2 win. Now that was pretty good to be honest with you, as that man leaves with the match ball well deserved. So let's get on to the rankings. So folks, what do we think about this side? I thought they were great. The first game, they were brilliant. And in the second game, I thought they showed their weakness, which was, well, the fullbacks. It was looking a bit shaky to be fair, but it was surely matched by the attack. The attack was exquisite. Literally, one through ball, hello, he's one-on-one, -on -one, it's in. Or, well, literally, we did get those one-on-one -on -one chances. I think we would have scored a lot better, to be fair. But I can't complain too much. Now, for, well, negative side was the fullbacks. That's why this team is only going to get an 8.5 out of 10. It's just the fullbacks really let me down. And my opposition knew straight away, if I tag at those wing fullbacks, it's game over. Man, the match, I have to give it to Jamal. As soon as he lost the ball, he thought, I'm going to stay right here because I know my midfield will win it. Oh, look at that. It's in my feet and it's in. And he scored four goals for crying out loud. Well, that is ending the French edition and the first episode of Global Seasons Mode. Will one of these five French teams win it? Well, we've got to find out as we've still got five groups remaining. And the next episode... I feel a little bit a hot country is needed, so we're off to Spain. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. I do apologise for the static. I think my internet is currently having some problems at the moment. Subscribe to my channel for more, well, Seasons Mode and FIFA content, and I'll see you lovely people later.